In this video, we will going to discuss about how to analyze the uh, projections of points in the fourth quadrant. So the problem reads as draw all the three views of a point capital P lying 60 mm below HP and 70 mm in front of VP and 40 mm from RPP. Also state the quadrant in which it lies. So since we want to analyze it, so how to identify that the problem is in the fourth quadrant? The condition given is below HP and in front of VP. As we see here, in the first step, if you take up this, so this was the third when the horizontal plane on this side it becomes third and in this side it becomes fourth. So since it is in the fourth quadrant, a point is lying 60 mm below HP. So from here to here you have the 60 mm below HP and 70 mm in front of VP. And when you look from the front view or when you look from the top view, you can see the distance of in front of VP, which is from here to here, which is in front of VP. And when it is uh, look from the top view, it is projected onto the horizontal plane, that is the top view. So then when you look from the front view, you can see the 60 mm below HP. So that distance which you can see when you look from the front view, that when it is projected, it will going to fall on the vertical plane and you can see that this distance is 60 mm. And uh, when you are looking from the top view, it will be 70, it is projected onto the horizontal plane. So in other words, if the distance is given with respect to HP, then we need to take it in VP. Because when you look from the front view, since the front view is perpendicular to the vertical plane, so automatically the image will fly on the vertical plane. If you look from the front view, that image will not be on the horizontal, horizontal plane because when you look from the front view, you cannot see this particular point here. So, and also in other words, it is along, it, um, the, the viewing direction is along the direction of the plane. So, obviously, you will not be able to see that image there. And then we have the condition which is 70 mm and 40 mm from RPP, whether it is in front or behind. Since it is in front of VP, obviously it should be in front of RPP. But we will going to ensure or we will going to consider how it will going to be explained. So as we see when you look from the front view, when you look from the front view, the object is here that is capital P, whenever it is represented in capital letters, that means it is in space. So when you look from the front view, the object and object is between the plane and the observer, the observer is looking from the front. Similarly, when you look from the top view, the object plane is between, that is the horizontal plane is between the object and the observer when he is looking from the top view. This is the condition of observer. Similarly, when you want to see the image on the right profile plane, as we see that all these planes are transparent. So that means if I, I can see the, if I, key, if I see from the left side side, left side view or the right side view, always the image will going to be on the right profile plane. Why? Because it, the plane is perpendicular to the uh, the perpendicular to the viewing direction or in other words the viewing direction is perpendicular to the plane. Similarly when you look from the left side view the viewing direction is perpendicular to the plane obviously the left side view can be seen in the right profile plane. But which is the one which is the correct one? So the condition of the observer says the object is between the plane and the observer when you look from the front view and when you look from the top view, the plane is between the object and the observer. The condition which has to be satisfied is always for the front view. The observer, that is, when you look from the front view, the object is between the plane and the observer. The same condition has to be satisfied. Then I should look from the left side view. The object is between the plane and the observer. Similarly, so always it should satisfy the condition of the front view. The condition of the front view of the observer is the object is between the plane and the observer. The same condition is satisfied only when you look from the left side view. So when you cut it and open it so that it is rotated in the clockwise direction, the horizontal plane, 
and you can see this is the intermediate uh, position of the rotation of the horizontal plane so the horizontal plane is rotated downwards and the rpp is rotated in the counterclockwise direction such that it is aligned with the vertical plane which you can see here you can see that both vp and hp will be below xy line and the right profile plane will be towards the right side so uh, and the corresponding images can also be seen here so here when you see that the condition will going to change from that is 60 mm below hp and 70 mm in front of vp and 40 mm in front of rpp because we need to consider the left side view so the left side view is the one which is going to satisfy the condition of the front view that is the object is between the plane and the observer the same condition is satisfied when you are looking from uh, the left side view object is between plane and the observer and when it is rotated uh, when the horizontal plane is cut here and rotated down and rpp uh, rotated to the left side right side the uh, the corresponding images will also be being, being rotated which can be seen here that is what i have shown in this particular direction when you look from the left side view the side view and the front view both will going to be on the same line and uh, the hp that is the top view will also comes below the xy line and then when you look from the left side view the object is in front of rpp so in front of rpp which is 40 mm is seen in both in vp and as well as in hp so that is what we have shown here the in front of rpp of 40 is seen in both in vp and as well as in the hp and uh, the below hp is seen in vertical plane directly so that is 60 mm since vp is also below xy line from this you measure for 60 mm and mark that point and that image as p dash small p dash and in front of vp which is rotated when hp is rotated down it will going to be overlaps on the vertical plane and the corresponding distance of in, uh, in front of vp which is 70 mm is all lies on the horizontal plane since the horizontal plane has has this uh, red color and similarly p is also is out of red color when you see in the side view both the front view and uh, top view will going to be seen so both p dash and p double dash will be on the same line so you draw a horizontal projector to the profile plane which is rpp and as we know that both the side view and front view is seen the front view is seen directly so it will go to become vertical and this top view when it is in the horizontal plane it will be vertical and when it transforms till here still it will be vertical and when you rotate at an angle of 45 degrees then what, what happens the vertical distance is transferred into horizontal distance and where you have the front view on that line you will go to get the side view so you project p dash from the horizon, vertical plane towards the right profile plane and then by projecting from this point to the extended line from p dash both will going to in, intersect at this point which is going to be p double dash and this will going to be the left side view so this will going to be the final solution wherein you draw the x y line and x1 y1 line of little bit thicker than the projector line and you match and identify the planes vp hp is the one which has been shown in bracket so that means it is being rotated and rpp towards the right side and then the distance with respect to the profile plane which is 40 mm is taken from the x1 y1 and measure a distance of 40 and draw a vertical projector and the distance below hp which is uh, 60 mm is seen in the vertical plane as in the vertical plane you know that it is below x y line which is the explanation which i have already given so then from here you mark that point of 60 and you mark this point as the front view which is p dash and the distance in front of vp which is also seen in hp since the hp is the one which is being rotated so hp has placed in bracket and measure the distance from x y line to a distance of 70 mm and you mark this point as small p and then draw a 45 degree line adjacent to hp where you have the hp on that line you will going to get the 45 degree so as we project uh, then uh, from by using the protractor you measure a distance uh, you measure an angle of 45 degree and then draw an inclined line 
and project the top view point directly onto the 45 degree line wherein you can see that the uh, vertical distance which was here is being projected till here that means it has become horizontal and then you project this to the front view uh, project this to the top and where you have the front view from that line you draw a horizontal projector both these two lines will going to intersect at this point and you mark this point as p double dash so this is and state the quadrant in which it lies so the point capital p lies in the fourth quadrant so this is how you will be able to analyze the projections of points in the fourth quadrant and solving this problem by using the sketchbook i have explained by how to solve this problem by or how to draw this problem by using the sketchbook thank you